What's going on everybody? I hope everybody's having a great day so far. So today we're gonna talk about doing a beat while you're warming up or exercising. Something crazy like that, but something that I do and I think you guys will enjoy it as well. Y'all already know what day it is. It's tutorial Thursdays. Man, that felt so good to say again. Man, it feels so good to be back. So to all the new subscribers, welcome to Tape Percussion Life. My name is Eric Perez. Some of you already know that by now, but yeah, just had to welcome the fam. And I do hope that you enjoy these videos. And if you haven't subscribed already, just hit that subscribe button, hit that notification button, find out whenever I upload. And yes, we normally upload every Monday and every Thursday. And if you speak Spanish every Tuesday, something new, something different, something fresh. And it's normally things that you request. And to all my day ones, man, thank you so much for all the love, all the support, all the comments on the set. You really don't know how much time I'm saving just because I don't have to set up anymore. I can just hit record and get this thing going. And it's a, it's a blessing, man. I don't think you guys understand how much of a blessing it is to just be able to share this with you guys, just to share the little bit that I know and try to help the community out and help uh, you know, elevate percussion to the respect it deserves and kind of spread that love for everybody to enjoy it, man. So thank you. Thank you so much for all the love, man. I, I, I'm just grateful, man. I can't say thank you enough to you guys. But yeah, so today I wanted to share something kind of crazy. It's making a beat while you're exercising or warming up. It's kind of fun, but kind of messes with your head. It's gonna work a lot, you know, your weaker hand is gonna really push the weaker hand to its limits. But to kind of give you an example of where it's coming from, it's a very common exercise that everybody should practice all the time, which is really palm, palm, finger, finger, or base, base, finger, finger. It's an exercise that you really should be practicing almost every day, if not every hour. <laughs> but that exercise is this. But if you notice that exercise really puts emphasis on the bass and it's always on the downbeat. So the basses are always doing that downbeat. The one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. But what I did with that exercise is I kind of chopped it up and put a lot more effort on my weaker hand and started to do more accenting with my dominant hand. But yeah, let me show you. craziness and that's just a warm-up exercise that kind of sounds like a beat it's kind of nice but yeah let me let me show you what i'm doing now to start this exercise slash warm-up slash beat that you could try you're going to start it with a bass with your dominant hand on the conga now this first bass is normally the one so just keep that in mind that first hit that you do is going to normally be the one if you're going to count this exercise after doing that what you're going to do is a bass finger with your non-dominant hand on the conga so to put that together it's going to sound like this after doing that finger with your non-dominant hand on the conga you're going to do one open with your dominant hand on your tumba to your dominant side and then you're going to do the same thing with your non-dominant hand you're going to do another bass finger on the conga. So it's gonna sound like this. So to put that together, it's gonna sound like this. Now here comes the tricky part. After doing that bass finger with your non-dominant hand, you're gonna start going to your non-dominant side on the tumba to your non-dominant side. But before doing that, you're gonna do a finger tap with your dominant hand on the conga. 
And after doing that finger tap on the conga, you're gonna do an open on the tumba to your non-dominant side with your non-dominant hand. And then you're going to do a bass with your dominant hand on the conga. And then with your non-dominant hand, since it's on the non-dominant side, you're gonna do two opens on that tumba. And then to finish it all off, you're just gonna go back to the tumba that you did here and just repeat the same thing again. So to put that part together, it's gonna sound like this. And then you just go back to your bass finger on the conga with your non-dominant hand. So, so to put it together slowly, it's gonna sound like this. Now to count it slowly, it's gonna sound like this. One, two, three, four. 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 You just gotta love those crazy exercises. All right, y'all. I hope y'all enjoyed this video. Y'all already know what to do like subscribe and i will see you guys next week man feels so good to be back you just you just gotta love it all right y'all have a great weekend